Hello world, welcome to the 73rd video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the fourth video in my Gmail API playlist and after a couple of requests, I've made a video about using the Gmail API to send an email. So make sure you've watched the previous videos in this Gmail API playlist because we're going to jump straight into the code in today's video. And so as such, we'll go straight into the code. So to send messages, you'll need to import some more functions that builds upon the functions that we uh, did in previous videos. So in this, you'll need this right here from email dot mime dot text import capital mime capital T text from email import errors and import base 64. Now these are some intermediate to advanced uh, libraries here and so I won't go too far in depth. I'm not um, if you've watched my videos before I'm not really a tutorial series so I just go straight into the code. And so this is all from previous videos. However, from this right here, global message, all the way down to when you establish a service. In previous videos, this was part of my check email function. So if you've been building your own based off of my videos or you're, you copy and pasted the Gmail API, this is all in the original function. So I have moved this out into its own so other functions can use this credentials and the service all right so that's where we start off so this check email is from previous videos make sure you watch them and this unread function is where we left off in the previous video so in today's video we're going to start with this send message function Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to build your message. All right, so you can um, create the variables as you see fit. So I call this Gmail from. Now I'm going to send it from myself. This is my email. And then you're going to create a to variable. So I'm going to send it to myself in this video. Then the subject. So this is Gmail underscore subject. And then the content, which is the body of your message. All right, so those are the four variables you need to start with. And we'll get back up to this commented in a, sec in a second. So the first thing you need to do is define a message. So we define a variable message equals capital, capitals MIME, capital T for text. And then you're going to pass it your content variable. Okay, so that's the first thing. And then in this message, you're going to establish the to, and in there we put Gmail to, the from. So this is where if you are multi, uh, managing multiple um, email accounts using this Gmail API for like a business, and you have one for your personal, and you have two small businesses, you can change this from. The subject will be subject line, but these are all subsets of the message. Notice that. Then you're going to pass it all using this right here. So raw equals base64, which we imported above, URL safe, encoding it as bytes. Now this is some intermediate to advanced, but it's just the way the Gmail API reads messages. Then you're going to decode it all, and then you're going to pass it into one variable called body, and you're going to pass the raw data. All right, so make sure if you're using, I think I read Python 3, any of the Python 3 versions or higher, you do this code right here. Then we're going to try, put it in a try and accept. So I define this as a variable. You don't have to. You could just put service.users. But just in case we want to use the variable in some other ways, message equals service.users.message.send the user id me is part of up here right so that's you your credentials the body is the encoded or the decoded base64 message and then execute 
And then if you get any kind of error, we're going to say an error has occurred, and then you call the function send message. So let's check this out. Well, hold on. Let's check my Gmail real quick. Okay, I have no unread emails. Now we are going to run this Gmail. Okay, it says your message has been sent. So if I go to my email, I have a new email. Trying new things. Dude, let me know what this looks like in your email, please. That's how I was testing it. So, trying new things is the subject. Dude, let me know what this looks like in your email, please. Okay, so let's delete this. So, it's pretty easy to use it. And what you can do with it is pretty powerful. You can make your own contacts list. So, right now, I have an, this is just an example. It's commented out. But you could say dad at email.com, your mom at gmail.com or nacho at libre.com and so these are all fictional or I imagine they're fictional and then you can say for contact in contacts and then you can make your own distribution list so you can send a multiple email out so if you're older and you like to forward things incessantly you could do that using this but just make sure you read the Google's API bulk distribution rules and regulation so make sure you read that because there are API limits and as with all things Google, they're pretty serious if you violate those and it can in, um, involve banning your credentials. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and um, share with your friends. Thanks. Goodbye, world.